Everyone talks about the AI trade being crowded, but the money tells a different story. Hyperscalers are spending nearly $300 billion a year building data centers, chips, and power systems. Investment levels not seen since the dot com build out. Only this time, the infrastructure is real and unavoidable. The semiconductor market alone is expected to hit roughly $728 billion in 2025 growing double digits on the back of AI demand. Even devices that were considered dead a year ago, like PCs and tablets, are showing signs of life with shipments rising more than 4% year over year. Meanwhile, a leading memory maker just posted $11.3 billion in quarterly revenue, up 46% from last year. The question now, which tech stocks will actually capture this wave? By the end of this video, you'll know which six tech names are positioned to benefit the most from the surge of AI spending, semiconductor demand and hardware recovery. The goal isn't to throw a dartboard at every stock with AI in description. It is to separate the companies with real earnings momentum, balance sheet strength and secular demand tailwinds from those just riding the hype. We'll look at the performance, the numbers, cost structures and the specific drivers that could push these stocks higher in Q4. The mission is simple give you a framework to understand which companies are built to capture the next leg of tech growth and where the risks still sit. Here is how we'll approach it. We're going to break down six tech stocks one by one, not as a list that you can memorize, but as a set of case studies. For each company, we'll start with how it's performing right now and then uncover the drivers behind that momentum, dig into the cost or valuations that matter and close with a clear risk note. That way you see both the upside story and the caution flag in the same frame. Think of it as a playbook, performance, drivers, cost, fit and risk. By walking through them in sequence, you'll get a structured view of where the real opportunities lie in Q4 and which ones might just be the noise. Number one, Comscope. Now Comscope is one of those turnaround stories that can swing sharply in either direction. But right now the numbers are leaning positive. In Q2 2025, the company posted earnings of $0.44 a share, an 85% beat versus the expectations, and a revenue of $1.39 billion, about $150 million ahead of consensus. Those results have helped the stock climb nearly 200% over the past year, a staggering run for a mid-cap name. Now what's fueling that? Two things. The $10.5 billion sale of its connectivity and cable solutions unit to Amphenol, which allows Comscope to fully repay its debt and the resurgence in its core growth businesses. Access Network Solutions revenue surged 65% year over year. Last quarter, boosted by DOCSIS 4.0 broadband upgrades, while its ruckus segment grew 47% on the back of Wi Fi 7 adoption. For FY25, analysts expect earnings to rebound to $1.29 per share on revenue of $5.28 billion, roughly 25% growth, and at 13 times earnings, the stock still trades at a 46% discount to the sector median. If Q4 continues to show this momentum, Comscope proves that even the most cyclical parts of network infrastructure can become outsized beneficiaries of the AI-driven data surge. But miss a step and the reversal could be just as dramatic. So the next on the list is CLS Celestica. Now, Celestica isn't a flashy name, but its execution has been hard to ignore. In Q2 25, revenue came in at $2.89 billion, up 21% year on year, while adjusted EPS rose to $1.39 per share from 0 0.90 earlier, a 54% jump that exceeded the high end of guidance. Over the past year, the stock has surged more than 350%, making it one of the best performing contract manufacturers in tech. Now, what's behind the strength? Well, it is the advanced technology solution segment, which grew 32% year over year, fueled by demand for servers, storage, and networking gear tied directly to the AI build out. Its traditional connectivity and cloud solution businesses also contributed steady growth, proving Celestica isn't just a one trick pony. Looking ahead, management guides FY25 EPS to $3.71, a 13% jump over FY24 on revenue approaching to $9.85 billion. Even after the run-up, the stock trades at just 10 times forward earnings, well below sector averages. As AI reshapes compute and networking demand, Celestica is showing that picks and shovels manufacturing plays can ride the same wave as chip makers, but with lower multiples and more upside torque when the cycle hits. Number 3. Micron Technology Micron is the clearest example of how AI is rewriting the memory scale. In its fiscal Q4 2025, Micron posted $11.32 billion in revenue, up 46% year-over-year and $210 million above consensus. 
with EPS swinging to 0.87 dollars versus expectations of just 0.48 dollars. The margins expanded to 38.6 percent, a massive turnaround from a negative territory a year ago, thanks to explosive demand for high bandwidth memory used in AI servers. The stock has already gained more than 110 percent over the past year to climb from 8 dollars in FY25 to almost 13 dollars in FY26, reflecting growth of over 520 percent this year, followed by 60 percent and 16 percent in the next two years. Capital intensity remains high, with annual capex north of 7 billion dollars. But that spend is directly tied to ramping advanced DRAM and NAND production. As hyperscalers pour billions into AI training clusters, Micron becomes one of the most levered names to that investment. If AI infrastructure continues scaling at its current pace, Micron is positioned not just as a cyclical recovery play, but as a structural growth story inside the semiconductor supercycle. Number 4. TSMC – Taiwan Semiconductor now, Taiwan Semiconductor remains as the backbone of the global chip ecosystem, and its latest results show why. In Q2 2025, TSMC reported revenue of $30.07 billion, up 35% year over year and about $560 million ahead of expectations, with EPS of $1.65 per share, beating consensus by $0.09. Advanced technology nodes now make up more than 60% of the total revenue as demand for AI accelerators in next-gen smartphone processors surges. Over the past year, the stock has risen nearly 70% and the management guides FY25 revenue to grow another 22% to roughly $87.3 billion. While earnings are expected to expand 26% to $6.74 per share. Even with heavy capex commitments of $32 billion this year, TSMC operates at a scale few can match, maintaining gross margins well above 52%. TSM isn't just participating in the AI boom, it is enabling it, as every major chip designer from Nvidia to Apple leans on its labs. That makes TSM a structural anchor in the semiconductor cycle through one always shadowed by geopolitical risk. Stock number 5. Global Foundries GFS now, Global Foundries often sits in the shadow of TSMC, but it has a niche focus on mature nodes and specialty semiconductors is carving out consistent growth for them. In Q2 25, the company delivered revenue of $1.94 billion, slightly ahead of estimates with an EPS of 0.58 per share, beating by $0.09. While the top line was flat year over year, strength came from automotive, power management and radio frequency chips, areas less volatile than cutting-edge AI processors. The stock has advanced roughly 35% in the past 12 months, and analysts expect FY25 revenue to climb to $8.25 billion, with earnings improving 10% to $2.38 per share. Valuation sits around 18 times forward earnings, a discount to the semiconductor group. As governments push for chip supply diversification, global foundries, US and European labs stand to benefit from the subsidies and strategic contracts. It's not a high flyer like Micron or TSM, but it is an overheated AI cycle. GFS provides steadier exposure to the manufacturing backbone with less reliance on bleeding edge demand. Stock number six, Flex. Now Flex is providing that contract manufacturing isn't just about thin margins and commoditized work. It can be levered bet on tech hardware demand when execution is tight. In Q2 2025, Flex reported revenue of $6.58 billion, 4.1% year-on-year growth and $170 million ahead of consensus, while EPS of $0.72 beat estimates by $0.08. Its reliability solution segment tied to automotive and health tech grew 14%, but the bigger momentum came from the Agility Solutions unit, where server and cloud infrastructure demand pushed double-digit gains. Over the past year, the stock has risen about 95%, reflecting both earnings consistency and investor recognition of its AI-adjacent exposure. For FY25, analysts project EPS of $2.65 on revenue of $31.7 billion, valuing Flex at just 11 times forward earnings well below peers. As AI spending fuels demand across servers, network gear, and edge devices, Flex shows how a diversified manufacturing and supply chain partner can capture growth across verticals without depending on any single end market. When you line up these six names, a pattern emerges. Comscope and Celestia represent the hidden gears of the cycle, company that benefit as telecom operators, cloud providers, and OEMs ramp spending on broadband servers and networking. Micron and TSMC are the heavyweights, 
directly leveraged to the AI supercycle through memory and leading edge foundry capacity with earnings momentum and capex intensity that make them anchors in Q4. Global foundries and flex fill the middle ground. GFS with a steadier subsidy bag exposure to mature nodes and flex with diversified manufacturing that drives multiple tech verticals at once. Together, they form a balanced slate, speculative rebound plays, co-structural leaders and steady complements. The takeaway for Q4 is that the AI build out isn't just about NVIDIA or the cloud giants. It's cascading across infrastructure, manufacturing and supply chains. That ripple effect is where these six stocks are positioned to punch above their weight. For you as an investor, the message is clear. The AI built out isn't just a single stock story, it's a layered ecosystem. Owning Micron or TSMC taps into the core demand for chips and memory, the backbone of AI infrastructure. Adding names like Comscorp, Celestica or Flex introduces leverage to network upgrades and harder assembly where growth can show up suddenly and deliver outsized stock moves. Global Foundries provides a stabilizer tied to government subsidies and non-AI demand in autos and power management. The implication is twofold. First, these companies give you exposure to AI scale-up without paying nosebleed multiples. Second, they remind you that the hardware cycle is cyclical. Gains can be dramatic, but reversals can be just as sharp. Positioning wisely means blending structural leaders with tactical bets so you capture the upside of the cycle while managing the inevitable risk. The lesson from these six names is simple. In tech investing, real strength often sits behind the spotlight. While the headlines chase NVIDIA or Microsoft, it's memory makers, foundries, manufacturers, and infrastructure players that quietly power that cycle. For Q4, quality shows up in execution. Micron turning losses into billion dollar profits, TSMC pushing advanced nodes, Celestica and Flex scaling with AI hardware demand. But the discipline matters as much as the vision. Costs compound, cycles turn, and only companies with staying power deliver over time. In fast-moving markets, consistency and positioning beats that hype. So thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end. In order to watch more such videos, subscribe to the channel. We'll keep bringing more such content. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.